All right, so in this video, we are going to learn about contour lines. So I'm gonna show you what not to do and what to do to make your objects look three-dimensional. That is the point of using contour lines. It's shade, it's uh, trying to make things look 3D without shading. So let's get started. This is an example of how you would not use contour lines to create a spherical shape. So like the head of your animal maybe is round like this and we want it to look 3D, we want, don't want it to look flat. So that is what we would not do. If we wanna make it look 3D, we would punch it out a little bit. So maybe like we could start straight in the middle and then towards the sides, start to bring it out using curved lines. Curved lines are what is going to help make things look 3D. So let's try practicing on some candy cane. Um, if I were to do straight stripes, that would not make it look 3D. If I would not curve my lines with the shape, that's not going to make it look 3D. So what is going to make it look 3D is if I'm curving my lines every step of the way. So bringing them out like this. And then when I get to a curve like the top of the candy cane, I'm going to continue curving it this direction. Okay, so that is how I make things look more 3D, using curved lines and moving with the object. So for example, I'm going to be doing swans for this project. So I need to make sure I'm curving my lines with the shape of the swans. Um, just to point out what you need to do for the first step of this project, you need to find three different images of one animal. I chose these three images, and so I drew them as best as I could here. Um, you, This project is more about the contour lines, so do the best you can to draw it. Like I said, choose an animal that you can normally draw well. Um, you can look up videos on how to draw a certain animals but since everyone's doing a different animal i didn't think i would show you how to draw that um if you absolutely want to trace it that is fine as long as you can get it large enough um, what is most important for this project is figuring out the cross contour lines and how to make something look 3d without shading okay so i'm going to talk about how to draw those cross contour lines, meaning the inside contour lines, on these little swans I just drew out. Um, the only thing you can shade for your animal is the eye and face detail. So I filled that in um, and that will eventually be filled in with Sharpie. Anyways, let's get going. Um, so for my swan, let's start with the easiest part so that we can get into the harder parts once we get used to it. So for me, the easiest part's going to be the neck because it's similar to like the candy cane I just did. And one thing you can decide for yourself is how close to put your cross contour lines next to each other. Um, you can choose if you want them super, super close together or if you want them further apart. But one thing I do want is your contour lines, your cross contour lines to be really neat. Okay, so I'm gonna start to bend mine in this direction for the body. And notice, one thing I noticed from your guys' hand drawings is people wanted to stop 
when there came to like a turn right there. But you don't stop, you just continue moving your cross contour lines with the shape. So we are never doing this kind of a thing. Okay, so let's say this is the body of my swan. We're never going to start our shape right here and then just stop it when we get to the bottom and then move in the another direction. We want it to look a little bit more fluid. Okay. So we want to try to guess what kind of shape this would have um, if it were 3D. And again, our goal is to try to um, add contour lines almost as if we are shading it trying to make it look 3D. Okay. So there's my face and my body of my swan. Um, I'm probably not gonna add contour lines on the beak. You can kind of decide what you wanna do with details like that. And I'll just do one more and then you guys can get started on your own. Again, round lines, curved lines, that is what is going to make things look 3D. So I don't want to just see horizontal or ver vertical stripes. We're not drawing stripes on our animals. We are trying to draw lines to make things look 3D. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful as you get started drawing your animals and your cross contour lines.